let's talk about the exams and what's on them. Anytime we've ever been in a class from since we were kids, teacher says, hey, there's a test Friday. What's the first question everybody wants to know, right? What's on the test, uh, et cetera. So we always want to know what's on the test, and whatever answer we get, we always want to know more. So let's start with the idea of what Cisco tells us is for sure, for real, on the test. Anyway, so if you look at ICND-1 versus ICND-2, as drawn, they look like the same size orange boxes there on the bottom. That's on purpose. If you counted the number of exam topics, there's actually a lot more in ICND-1, but some of those are technically prerequisites for what's in the ICND-2 exam. So there, it's roughly a 50-50 breakdown of what's in the ICND-1 and ICND-2 exam topics. For our purposes today, I'm going to go through exam topics, and I'm going to, I've already picked ahead of time some to drill down on and give you some tips about. And I'm going to take it first with ICND-1, then with ICND-2, knowing that all of it applies to CCNA. So if you know if you're going for the one exam path, everything applies to you.